good morning viewers so in this class we uh, continue our discussion uh, for this topic relation uh, in the last class uh, we introduced this concept that uh, in order to understand a relation uh, we need a set okay without a set we cannot define a relation okay so now we give the formal definition of relation definition of a relation definition of a relation let a and b be two non empty sets suppose that that a and b are two non empty set then a relation r it is a subset of a cross a uh, a cross b it is a subset of a cross b mean every subset of a cross b uh, it is called a relation okay every subset of a cross b it is called a relation now number 1 point to note it down that phi empty set it is also the subset of uh, a cross b so it implies that that phi is a relation and this relation is called an empty relation okay now number 2 uh, a cross b it is always subset of a cross b so a cross b is called a universal relation okay so uh, phi is called empty relation and a cross b it is called universal relation uh, but in between there can be many other relation okay for example uh, if a is a set uh, in which we have elements like a b and c and b is a set in which we have elements like 1 and 2 okay uh, then in a cross b uh, we have elements like a comma 1 uh, a comma 2 b comma 1 b comma 2 c comma 1 and c comma 2 okay uh, so here i may define this relation that uh, take all those uh, elements whose first coordinate is 1 okay so what type of elements do they come in this so a comma 1 and a comma 2 so this is a uh, one type of relation okay this is one type of relation now r2 you may define the relation like this that take uh, those elements whose uh, second coordinate is 1 so in that case we have elements like a comma 1 uh, b comma 1 and c comma 1 okay Uh, suppose that that in R three relation, uh, we uh, want to take uh, that element, okay, uh, where the first coordinate is C and the second coordinate is one, okay. So in this case, uh, we have this relation, okay, uh, and in this relation, <coughs> we have a single element, okay. So the question is this: that in this way, how many relations uh, we can define, okay? I um, mean, how many relations are possible? Okay, now I uh, just want to discuss that uh, that uh, total number of relation. How many total number of relations are possible? Okay, so the question is this: that how many total number of relations are possible? so 
in order to understand it we uh, consider this set okay so in a relation r okay in a relation r uh, you may include this element or you may not include this element okay so for the first element for the first element Uh, we have uh, two options okay and what are these these options uh, we may include this element in this relation or we may not include this element in this relation okay so similarly for the for the second element uh, we again have two options okay we may include Uh, that element in this or we may not include that element in this similarly for the sixth element for the sixth element we again have two options okay uh, either we can include it or we uh, may not include it okay so we have two options okay so in this way uh, total number of total number of uh, relations see for the first element we have two options for the second element we have two option for the third we have two option for the fourth we have two option for the fifth we have two option and for the sixth we have two options okay so in this way it is equal to 2 raised to the power 6 but notice here this can be written as 3 uh, into 2 okay Uh, where this three represents the number of elements in A, and this two represents the number of elements in B. But see, this is equal to two times number of elements in A cross B. So this is the formula, okay, which can be used uh, for calculating the total number of relations. Okay, so this is the formula for calculating total number of the total number of uh, relations they are equal to 2 raised to the power n uh, okay 2 raised to the power n a into n b or you can say that 2 raised to the power n bracket a cross b okay so using this formula you can calculate the total number of relation from set a uh, to set b okay and uh, using this uh, we can solve uh, this type of problems which are generally asked in the paper so we solve one numerical problem based on this okay so the question is this that if number of elements in a are 2 number of elements in b are 4 then find total number of relations from A to B. Okay, the solution. Uh, total number of relations. Uh, they are equal to two raised to the power number of elements in A uh, into number of elements in B. So it is equal to two raised to the power two into four. So it is equal to two raised to the power eight. So two raised to the power eight is equal to two hundred fifty-six. Okay. So the total number of relations which are possible uh, is two two hundred fifty six. Okay. So thank you very much, viewers.